Hi students, now coming to the next topic that is the process control block. So in the previous video I explained about the process states, the five states that are present in the process. Now let us see what is this process control block PCB. So actually this process control block is a data structure maintained by operating system for every process. So this is a data structure maintained by operating system for every process so whatever the process you are taken a program is divided into uh, means a program is uh, when it is executing in main memory it becomes a process so a process is divided into four divisions the stack heap text data and whatever the process that you are taking a single process that process uh, is maintained in one process control block suppose different process are coming p1 p2 p3 so each will be maintain some process control block about the information of that process okay and each process information will be stored in process control block with their id okay so the pcb the process control block is identified is identified by an integer the process control block is identified by an integer that is the process id process id pid so the process control block is identified by an integer with pid means which process p1 or p2 or p3 like that and pcb the use of process control block is keeps all the information all the information needed to keep track keep track of a process the process control block keeps all the information needed to keep track of a process so what type of information this process control block will store let me explain that so the process control block will store the uh, all the uh, related information of a process so the different uh, so let us take this regarding the process if you take a single process the process control block will store the information regarding the process like what type of information the process state and uh, process privileges and process id and it stores the information like pointer and program counter uh, cpu registers that are used for process cpu registers cpu scheduling so based on the priority which process has to be scheduled first and uh, memory management information memory management information and uh, accounting information accounting information or else iO status information iO status information so these are all the related uh, the process informations a single process whatever you have taken that process information will be stored in this process control block okay so the process state indicates whether what state is in the current state whether it is in running state or uh, ready state the current state of a program or current status of a process okay whether it is ready or running or waiting like that then what about the process privileges process privileges means it requires to allow or disallow access to system resources allowing whether to allow or disallow to access system resources so to you to use a system resources that process had to give some permissions so that I, that information is also stored in this process control block and process id process id is nothing but unique id uh, for each process will be stored in operating system unique id for process 
So based on that ID, we can identify which process is it. And next coming to the pointer. What about the pointer? Pointer always points to parent process. Points to parent process. And you all know that the program counter. Program counter is uh, points to address of the next instruction to be executed in process. Next instruction to be executed in process. That information will means if this process is over, next what instruction that ha, what uh, process has to be stored in process control block? That uh, related address will be stored in program counter. Next CPU register. So uh, the CPU registers are used to store for execution, storing, storing the data. We use the CPU registers only for temporary. And CPU scheduling means it uh, decides the process priority. The process priority will be stored in CPU scheduling. And whatever the memory management information. Memory management information is nothing but it includes information of pages, information of page tables or information of memory limits. How much memory we have to be used. So everything is memory management information. And next accounting information. So accounting information comes under like uh, amount of CPU used. Amount of CPU used for process execution and the time limits and execution ID etc. Everything will be stored in accounting information. And the last one I was status information of process. It includes the list of uh, list of IO devices. allocated to process so this is what the process control block will store about uh, the each process that is going to be executed thank you